Here is us on the jet ski. There. And the days that I keep my gratitude higher than my expectations. <laughs> well, I have really good days. Oh, oh who added this? That's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everybody, how are you doing today? I hope you're doing wonderful. I'm doing great. Back here in wonderful Austin, Texas. Back from the uh, beautiful sunshine state of Florida. I'd like to take just one quick moment to express my gratitude to a very, very special friend of mine, uh, Miss Alex, who was my gracious host there in Destin and my travel partner down to the Miami Bitcoin conference. Um, to a lot of folks who, <laughs> who have sent me messages or whatever, um, no, she's not my girlfriend. She's a very, very, very close friend. Um, just we've had a special connection for, for a long time and this was a nice little getaway for the both of us. So um, this is in the Destin Harbor to give you, if you don't know the lay of the land, this is Miami. This is where we ended up. I'm over here in Austin. And the Destin area is right here. As a matter of fact, where we were jet skiing was a little bit over here. back and into the uh, the marina and back and uh, where you saw all those boats parked was right here at Crab Island. Beautiful, beautiful part of the state. The sand is not sand, it's, it's quartz and when you walk on it, it squeaks. Uh, it feels like sugar in your, in, in your hand. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful part of the country. And it's called the Redneck Riviera because from Atlanta, Alabama, Mississippi, some Arkansas, Louisiana, and all the way into Texas, this is our beach. Uh, whereas, like a lot of the East Coast beaches, that's folks from, whoa, that's folks from up here. They end up usually going Daytona all the way down here. Uh, down here in the south, the, in, in, here in the Panhandle, that's the Redneck Riviera. But we had a really, really, really good time. It was, it, it was, it was an incredible visit. And uh, and I did want to share with you a couple of things that maybe had a slow burn infused uh, in my head and didn't necessarily sink in right away but I got two pretty cool things that I wanted to share with you that I brought back from uh, the Bitcoin Miami conference now you can check over here on my YouTube page didn't Full Metal Magdalene do a great job with the new banner I think she absolutely did I told her look I I'm looking for kind of a combination of keep on trucking which is a, a slogan from the 70s and a black light poster with some crypto mixed in. And this is what she came up with and I absolutely love it. I, I think she did a great job with it. But if you wanna see uh, a couple of the videos here from, um, from Destin and then leading into Miami and even the after party, uh, I just walked around with the camera on and got all kinds of fun footage. But uh, y'all check these out. I, I, I'm not going to repeat a whole lot of the stuff that we've already talked about to include uh, the stream Saturday with Kenzie in, in early in the morning. And Kenzie, brother, thank you so much, man. That was so much fun. Had a really good time. But two things, two things. And I got a little giveaway we're going to do here with this video but two things i wanted to share with you from the bitcoin miami conference one was cake wallet now they were in uh, both videos they were in both videos they were here in 
in this one. Well, as a matter of fact, I think it's in right there. I think that's the pirate chain boys that are over here. And then, uh, well, this gal right here. She's with uh, she's with the Cake Wallet team as well. But y'all can find out a little bit more. Uh, here, I'll put a little clip in here from where we were talking to him on this. You guys know Cake Wallet? What's that? You know Cake Wallet? Cake Wallet. It was the first Monero, you guys know Monero? Yeah. It was the first Monero iOS wallet. And they recently had a Bitcoin, so you get some free Bitcoin. Oh, cool. Thank okay. you very much. What, what, what are your... Are you just giving it to hot chicks or did the ugly guys get one too? Well, your, your hands are full. Well, I'll give it to the hot right. Give it to the hot chick. I'll, she'll carry it for me. <laughs> Thank you, my brother. So, uh, is it is it just a... Is it a wallet? I mean, is that... Yeah, it's a wallet that natively holds Bitcoin and Monero. Yeah. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. We're, I'm a Monero guy. Where do you where do you buy Monero as a as a U.S. citizen? Uh, well, you could actually. So Kraken is probably the biggest exchange. Uh, where do you live? Uh, Texas. Yeah, you could use Kraken. Um, or you could even through Cake. There's an exchange built into it, and you can anonymously exchange between Bitcoin and Monero. Monero being an anonymous currency, it's probably something you might want to do if you're going to use Monero. Keeps you off the grid. Are the pirate chain guys with you as well? Uh, pirate chain guys. Yeah, well, that's their own. You know, they're their own projects. Well, no, I bet I mean I didn't know if they were with you, with you. Yeah, they're just hanging out over here. Cool. We're, we're a friend to all. There you go. <laughs> but what about this little? And then this is the gal that was there in the video. She's with the uh, cake wallet as well. I will tell you, I can't, I cannot vouch for the security of the wallet. I cannot vouch for anything on it except the idea. And the idea took a couple of days before it sunk into my brain. Um, as you heard on that clip, it's a, it's a wallet that you can use to store XMR uh, and Bitcoin. And there's some other, there's some other uh, tokens as well. Uh, XMR, Bitcoin, Cardano, Bitcoin Cash, DAI, Dash, e EOS. Couple different several different coins that you can exchange. And I thought, oh, that's pretty cool. Where can you buy Monero? Okay, so as a US citizen on Kraken. And one of the things that people are concerned about with privacy or, or uh, Monero in general, if you're a US citizen is, where would I be able to sell it if I wanted uh, to sell it? What happens if I own it and it becomes illegal for a U.S. citizen to own it. And so that was the, I guess, the, the, the thoughts that were up front in, in my mind. But the guy did say when I first met him, but it's also got an exchange built in. And I don't know why it took a couple of days for that to, for that to sink in. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, there goes the... Uh, where can I sell it if I'm a U.S. citizen and I'm not able to get it and I'm not able to buy or sell it on a centralized exchange? There goes that issue because you can do it inside the wallet. And I'm going to put this link down in the uh, description as well. The exchange itself is change now and in, in Saturday stream, Kenzie was talking about Trade Ogre and the um, anonymity, the, the privacy <laughs> of, of that. This is even more so. Uh, you don't set up an account. It's even more uh, private than Trade Ogre was. And here's all the trading pairs and everything. I can't vouch for the security of the wallet, I can't vouch for the liquidity on this exchange. However, I really like the concept. I really like the concept. So um, I, I went to look on CoinGecko to see how much volume they have and they're not on here. I did notice as I typed it in that 
It looks like the change now does have a token. Doesn't look like it's trading for squat. I, you know, I assume that it's, uh, you know, one of those exchange tokens with all the other stuff, I, with the discount trade fees, and I don't know all that. But um, that may be something that you guys that are big on privacy, that are big on Monero, this might be something that you ought to take a look at. Um, and I'm going to... You know, Here's what I'm going to do. Down below in the comments section, make sure that you well, give, us, give us a watch, give us a like, give us a comment that says something about cake down in the uh, comments section. And uh, we're going to give away $10 in Bitcoin. And you can set up this wallet and let us know uh, what you think, how it feels. This is what they were handing out at the uh, at the show. So I'm gonna give uh, I'm gonna give this to uh, to one of you guys. But uh, yeah, go on to their go on to their. Uh, it's only um, it's only on mobile. You can't do it on the laptop. You can't do it on on a desktop. It's uh, it's uh, iOS or Android. So anyway, give that a. Give that a shot. Take a look at it. Nice people at the show either way. And then the other thing that I found that was really, really cool, um, and actually I didn't get a chance to talk to these guys, but the other two guys who were slightly younger than I am, uh, they did spend some time talking to them. So, hey, if y'all want to talk, we should talk on screen, on camera, uh, folks. But... It's a um, 401k that you can set up with your crypto. Um, a couple of things that you can do a rollover if you have a 401k. You can do a rollover into this because I don't know if any of you that are working um, ran into the same thing that I did. But when I tried to do some of the uh, alternative assets in mine, Either the fees were entirely stupid, just out of the out of the ballpark, or within my own 401k, I had to be an accredited investor to do some of the things that I wanted to do. So between how expensive the fees were, or how laborious getting it all set up was, uh, I just never did it. Uh, there's they've got a couple of different products. They've got the self-directed. They got the solo. They Got the Rob solution, and I haven't watched these individual videos yet, but if you're looking for a way to do a rollover with some or a part of your 401k, these might be somebody, uh, these might be some people that you should talk to. Uh, now, if you're not looking at that as far as setting up a 401k uh, with them, uh, for those of y'all that don't know, uh, if you're if you're young, basically what a 401k allows you to do is to set it aside for when you get older, a retirement fund, um, and delay paying taxes. So if you're contributing uh, from a paycheck, if you make this much, it actually oh wait a minute, and, and it, it it reduces your taxes by so much. Um, I'm gonna watch uh, these videos, which I've not done yet. And then I'm going to try to t get these people so we can do an interview and talk to them. But this might be something that you want to look at as well. So again, neither one of these things, financial advice, but probably the two of the coolest things that I brought back from Miami, and, except for my good friend Alex. All right. So anyway, y'all guys rock on. I got to get off here, go do my taxes. We had a extra month because of the freeze here in in texas but until next time rainbows unicorn lollipops sunshine and all those good things and we'll talk to you next time bye con huevos all right hey do that again that was kind of cool <laughs>